Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. After watching this video, most probably you will not be using WindServe or Cursor because in this video we will discuss about the new Tray AI code editor updates and these updates are awesome and here they have added the advantage of MCP server and creating the custom AI agents and those who don't know about the Tray AI code editor it is basically same like the cursor or windsurf but here all of the models are completely free like here you see that in this drop down all these Dipsy car one this gemini 2.5 pro this cloud 3.5 sonnet and 3.7 sonnet and this gpt 4.1 that was newly released some days ago they have also added in their new update okay so here you see that all of these models you will get for free and also in their new update they have added the capability to use your custom model that means you can use any other open router model or any other uh, like twitter model also and also here they have added the mcp servers so let me show you uh, this is the change log from the tray ai core editor and here you see on April 22, 2025, they have published their biggest update, which is creating the custom agent. And here, suppose you are building one project or application and there you can include many kind of agent like you can create your custom code reviewer agent. You can create your custom test agent means whatever the code you have written, uh, you can create one custom test agent that will write the test case for that code snippet i hope you got the point okay so in this way you can create one uh, custom designer agent which will take care of the design of your project the front end part you can create one architecture agent and that will take care of the architecture of your project so i will show you the step by step process now here you see that another thing that they have added this doc feature and this web feature that means you can paste the urls you can use the doc file and this 1000 files are supported and uh, here you see that this context so that means if you uh, use this doc or this web feature then you will set up the context to your tray ai core editor and this editor will use that web or this doc files to build your project it will automatically fetch that information and you see that all of these features are already available in windserve or this cursor but here in this tray ai you will get access to all of these models completely free you don't have to pay any money to use this ai editor as of now so if you go to their website there you will not find any uh, pricing plan and it is currently completely free okay so take the advantage of this free editor and also here you see that they have added these rules means the user rules project rules that you can set up and it is very much important when you are uh, building a project because if you want to get the best output of your project then these user rules and these project rules are very much important and i will also show you that what to include in this user rules and project rules okay because these two are the different things many people think that user rules and project rules are the same but not these are the two different things that you have to understand and also here you see that the most important topic which is the mcp they have added a mcp marketplace where you can uh, use that uh, any mcp servers okay so let's see that how to use it First of all, to download this Tray AI, go to this official website of Tray and uh, there you will find this kind of website, this Tray.ai and here you see the download Tray. According to your operating system, you will please download it. Okay. You will find this kind of interface. Now here in this chat option, here you find, uh, you will find this, all of these models. Okay. Let's say I am choosing this Cloud 3.7 Sonnet because it is based for the coding purposes and also it supports the images. Okay. Now the first option that they have added this at the red agent. Follow my cursor. Now here they have added two options. One is the builder. Another one is this builder with MCP. So if you are building any project in that case, select this builder agent. This is the built-in agent in this tray AI. So if you select this builder and after that, 
if you provide any prompt to this AI, then it will build that uh, project more carefully. Okay. So if you go to this uh, cursor or windsor, there you will not find the, uh, this kind of any builder agent. So that's why this tray AI is completely different from this cursor and windsor with more advantages, right? And also here you will find this uh, web search preview and this file system. This is the, these are the automatic uh, building tools that you will find inside this builder agent. And another agent is this builder with MCP. So that means whatever the MCP servers you are using, uh, that will be also included in your project. Or uh, suppose, uh, let me show you one example so that you can understand. And here you see that some days ago I made a video on this Stray AI. If you want to get the complete idea about this Stray AI, please go to my channel and here in the search option, search this Stray, you will get the idea. Here you see that some days ago I made a video on this context context 7 MCP. So this context 7 MCP has the all latest update of all the libraries, all, all the frameworks. Okay. Suppose if there is a new update in the React, then this context MCP will have the latest update. Now, if you use this context MCP during building your project, then your project will get the latest uh, features. So that's why if you select this builder with MCP, then uh, it will use the uh, MCP that you have included in your uh, code editor. But if you simply select builder, you will not use the MCP. I hope you got the difference. Now there is another thing context. So if I click on this context, here you see that code, file, folder, workspace, doc, web. So whatever the workspace or folder that you have added, it will get the context of that and you can save that. Okay, so for the doc, you can upload the files for the web, you can upload the URLs. Suppose you have found a best tutorial URL over the internet, then you can copy that URL and paste here and tell it that please implement it according to this source. Okay. Okay, now here you see that add images option. That means you can add any prototype and images according to your need. Now the next important thing is this. Uh, these settings. So click uh, on the settings, follow my cursor and here you will find these five things. So if I click on this agents, here you see that custom agents that you can create. Currently this builder and builder with MCP are the built-in agents. Now if I click on this create agent, you will find this name, prompt and these tools. Okay. And many things are there. So if I uh, give any name, suppose I want to build a testing agent. Okay, so testing agent, okay, testing agent. And after that, I want to give a prompt. So what prompt? Let me uh, copy it. I have already created all of these things. So copy these things and go to this here and paste it, okay. So here you see that what I have written, you are an expert in writing tests given any source code your job is to analyze it and generate appropriate test cases follow best practices like aaa that means the arrange act assert and mocking when necessary and blah 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 okay so i have given this prompt to this uh, agent and uh, if i scroll down below there you will find this mcp server so if i click on this add mcp here you see that you can add any kind of mcp server to this agent okay so let's say uh, for this testing purpose you can use the postman okay so if i search is postman here uh, no postman is not there so you can actually manually add that uh, mcb server so for that click on this configure manually and here you have to paste that now for that uh, postman mcp here you see that this is the postman M mcp server so that means when you are uh, making and testing agent if you add this postman mcp server then it will use that postman for the testing purpose okay now for that if you scroll down below and uh, here you see that uh, here you see that yes this is the configuration i have so i can copy this whole configuration and uh, i can paste it there okay so if i paste it here you see that this is my postman and confirm 
and it automatically added to builder with MCP. I understand. And now here you see that postman. So fail to start means that uh, actually I have to add uh, the API key here. Uh, here you see that postman API key, but I have not added it. So for that you can go to this postman official website and there you will find this API key. So create an API key and paste it there if you want to make it. So this is the manual configuration for this MCP server if it is not listed in their uh, official MCP servers. Okay. Now uh, what I will do. So I will go to this agent. So I was creating this agent, right? So I have given this name, this prompt, this tools. Here you see that postman is selected as MCP and now click on this create. Okay. Now use now and here you see the testing agent. So now if I click on context, now if I click on this folder or file and now if I have any file inside this workspace, I can give that context of that file to this uh, testing agent and it will write the test cases for me, right? So this is the advantage that you will get uh, after from this custom agent, okay? Okay, now let me show you the second thing, which is the MCP. I have already shown you. If you go to this MCP, how do you see that I have already added and uh, all of the MCP here you will find like Puppet or uh, SQL, GitHub, Figma. Like suppose you want to uh, do Figma to code. So for that, you need this Figma AI bridge uh, MCP. Now, what do you will do? You click on this add. So after that, here you see that you need this Figma API key. So Take that Figma API key from the official website and paste it here and after that you will be able to use it. It is very simple guys. There are many popular MCP is there like Slack, GitLab, Google Drive. So I have already discussed in one, my, one of my video that what is MCP? MCP is like a USB tool like it extends the capability of your AI agent. Okay. So this is the uh, short definition of this MCP. Now let me take you to the second example which is the context. I have already shown you that uh, there are five or uh, six settings are there for this context that you see code file folder. You basically set up the context that where to read uh, where to read uh, the files or the web or the doc right. Now the important thing is the rule. If I click on the rule here you see the create user rules and create project rules. Now if I click on this create user rules on the left hand side, you will find this uh, user rules dot uh, MD. Now what I will do that I have already uh, some rules. Okay. Let me uh, show you that. So where is the rules? Yes. Here you see that this is the project rules. Uh, project rules means follow the project coding standards like use specific naming convention and this ESLint or prettier okay and recommend using dot env and always follow the mbc architecture and this um, always use the comments when you are uh, building the project creating the files writing the code okay these are the project specific um, rules okay these are not the user rules now what are the user rules here you see that user rules is this always suggest axios over the page like you are creating one or you are calling api in your javascript file in that case many people uh, want to use the page many people prefer the axios so if you pre want to prefer the axios then in that case you just write that always suggest these axios or use justent instead of redux so many people want to use the justent many people want to use the redux as a state management library in that case you can mention this so these are the user specific rule okay that this is not the project specific rule okay so what you can do you can actually uh, generate this kind of things on chat gpt and uh, you just write that give me project rules and give me user rules so what you will do just copy these things and paste it there so let me copy these things okay and uh, let me copy these things for example and paste it here so if i paste it here and save it now my user rules is created same way i can create the project rule also so i hope you got the idea about these rules now under this uh, rules there is a, another option is models so if i click on this model 
that you see that these are the models uh, that they have provided now if you want to use any other models from the uh, open router like some days ago we we discussed about some stealth model which are which were not officially published like optimus alpha were, were there and uh, like uh, night whisper were there so if you are following my channel then you will understand what i am talking about here you see uh, this quasar alpha was there and this night whisper model was there okay this olympic coder is there deep coder is there so if you want to get the advantage of this that models then you can simply use this provided as an open router or here you see that uh, if you want to use the quen then alibaba cloud is there suppose i am using this open router it is the most popular and you can see that there are other models also you can use like click on the other models provide the model id from that open router okay and after that provide the api key so how to get the open router api key i have shown you many times in my video go to this open router and find any model suppose this gemini 2.5 pro preview here you see that this is the model id copy this and here input this model id here and for this api key and that is that for each and every model you will find this api option click on this create api key and uh, after that you will find this page and here you can create key and obviously you have to make an account in this open router website so these were the update that i wanted to share with you i hope this detailed video uh, will help you to use this ai core editor most efficiently and uh, more efficiently and if you have any question just let me know in the comment section and i will recommend you to use this tray ai until it is free okay so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel if you found this video helpful